If you lived it, you'll never forget it. The flood of 1972. Get out now. Get out now. It's still time, but this is the warning. It has been 50 years since Hurricane Agnes affected this Fulton area in the city of Richmond. So I'm sitting here now on what used to be a playground or a ball diamond. And over to my left was where I lived. I was just about maybe 10 years old. It was sort of muggy, but it was a quiet atmosphere. The atmosphere seemed like it was really quiet and calm. And the news was saying that it was are going to be a flood. By the early morning hours of June 21st, this tropical depression strengthens in the Carolinas, and by midday of June 21st is once again a tropical storm. And Agnes is back in business. And so we had never really expected it to be what we saw, because you know, we were used to Gillies Creek rising, but the James River really flooding hundreds of feet when Agnes flooded the James River, there was severe property damage. The city's drinking water plant went underwater and was taken out of service. There was no fire protection nor drinking water. And it was a much larger event than ever was anticipated prior to then. We knew then that we had to find a better system of levee and flood wall protection to be able to protect the businesses downtown on both the north bank and the south bank of the river as well as protect the drinking water plant so it would never flood again. And it was then that really the, the planning went forward to have the flood wall we have today. We had gone to bed and it was about 10.30. We got a knock on the door and said, get out, get out, it's flooding. Now mind you, when just a couple of hours ago, we didn't see all this water. We didn't know it was gonna flood like that. But within a couple of hours, all of this water was coming from the river and coming from the creek and it was coming on all sides. It was like it was almost surrounding like half circle. And I can remember we had to get shots and at different intervals of the recession they would let you come back into your home. So I said maybe for about two weeks we were displaced but a lot of people who were houses were a little lower down or the apartments it was just they had to just not live there. They couldn't live there anymore. Agnes came up to about the middle of where you see the sign right there. The sign is covering the brass plaque, but about right in the middle of the uh, Capitol Trail sign would be the height of where uh, Hurricane Agnes reached in 1972. Houses, farm animals, cars, I mean, everything that the water was just rushing down the James River. And we did not have a flood wall at that time. So water was all down, it was just now Main Street or 25th Street, all, water was everywhere. And so to see that, and you had never seen it before, it's something you'll never forget. Whether we're working with our colleagues at FEMA or the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, it's all because we learned that we had to do better together. And doing better together required us to have great expertise that's available throughout the Middle Atlantic region.